Today, we are taking a look at this amazing iPad animation app called Calipeg. This application is such a great tool when it comes to 2D frame-by-frame hand-drawn animation. This video is sponsored by Calipeg. In the last few years, tablets have exploded into new heights, and with it came waves of productivity applications, the likes of Canva and uh, Procreate. They are absolutely huge, especially amongst designers because first, they are extremely powerful, and second, very portable, so you can wipe out your device and start working anywhere at any time. Calipeg is no different. This application honestly blew me away with how much it can do. At first, you might think it's just another clone, but once you see what this application can do, uh, trust me, you are going to change your mind. I know I did. Uh, Calipeg is a 2D hand-drawn animation application made for iPad and Apple Pencil. You can still use it without the pen, but the pen helps a lot. The app offers a fully controllable timeline, customizable brushes, the ability to import images and videos, the ability to change your frame rate, the ability to incorporate audio layers, and just recently a very powerful onion skin and out of pegs features. The co-creator, Benjamin, created a lengthy two-hour video breaking down each feature and explaining exactly how to use the application. So I am not going to do that here and bore you for over 60 minutes, but rather I'm going to try and highlight some of the best features instead and tell you why you should consider using Calipeg if you are into that animation lifestyle. When you first fire Calipeg, you should see something like this. Uh, this is your studio, here. You can create new projects, shots, scenes, and organize everything into folders. To start a new project, you hit the plus icon on the top right corner, pick a new shot. You can adjust the shot's parameters like name, resolution, frame rate, length, and so on. Some of these can be adjusted later on once you are inside the shot, but some can't be altered, like the resolution. So make sure you lock that in from the get-go. Calipeg allows you to set a resolution up to 4K, and you can set the number of shots and finally you just hit create. This is the Calipeg interface. Very minimalistic, very simple. The majority of the screen is dedicated to your viewport or drawing area. You have the timeline at the bottom and some tools on the left and on the top. You can change the orientation of the interface depending on whether you are a left-handed or right-handed and you can choose whether you want to flip only the sidebar without the time bar. Uh, all these settings and more can be accessed through the setting icon on the top right. It's this cog right here. Another thing that I find very intuitive is that the application also has a ton of very useful any gestures, like pinch for restoring the view, two finger tap for undo, three fingers for redo, swiping up and down to scrub through the timeline, and a lot more. You can hold with one finger when selecting a tool to switch between different modes. When using the paintbrush, you can hold your finger on the screen to quickly swap for your eraser tools. It's stuff like this that is mostly in the background that really helps elevate the user experience which we appreciate. But let's talk a bit about some of the major updates introduced in this latest version. The first one is the onion skin bar and out pegs options. These are amazing and similar to popular 2D animation software. The option to show previous and next sheets on either side is a must for any animation software. And I am happy to say that the onion skin bar in Calipeg is everything you'll ever need and more. To keep track of your timing, you can enable your onion skin bar on top of your timeline for any layers by clicking on the onion skin icon right here. The bar allows you to choose how many frames you want to be visible while working by just selecting which sheets you want to be active by clicking and holding the same icon. You can also choose the opacity of each sheet. Now, you can adjust each frame individually or as a whole. But the feature that really made me fall in love with this app is out of pegs. You know, sometimes you have to animate something moving, but it's not easy to keep the proportion consistent or you can't nail the same drawing in different spots. Out of pegs allows you to move your onion skin without actually moving the content of your sheet. So essentially you can move your onion skin around without affecting the frame itself. Think of a traditional paper drawing where you can slide the paper anywhere to have the correct consistent drawing. 
All of this is in addition to a ton of improvements just like this one. The thing I absolutely love is when developers take the extra time to really think about how artists use their apps, and it helps a lot when the developer is an animator. In this case, I'm pretty sure it would make any animator's life easier. For instance, the long assortment of brushes that you can export and import, by the way, you can duplicate and customize, and you can further and adjust default brushes to exactly suit your needs. And I'm sure everybody would agree on this one, as it is a great addition to the app, References. References in Calipeg can be accessed through this icon on the top left here. A reference image window will appear. This window can be moved anywhere and can be assigned to any image from your camera, gallery, or files. The references can be easily flipped, rotated, resized, and you can even have multiple reference image windows in the same project. The only thing that's missing here is the ability to trace over a reference, for example, uh, dimming the opacity a bit and start drawing on top of the reference directly. Calipec is constantly improving with new features being added on a regular basis. I can literally sit here and speak for hours about how great Calipec is and talk about every feature it provides, but I urge you to click the link below and try it for yourself so you won't regret it. Thanks to Calipec for sponsoring this video and we'll catch you soon. Bye bye!